he's come down, right? And we are talking like major move here at Liverpool, Ibiza, I don't know, like the sky's the limit. Oh, that's brilliant. So you'll be there? Of course I will. So you are my fan club. <laughs> and when they say it's the next big thing, they ain't kidding. But if it's size that matters to you, then... Alfie, she's called. Oh, yeah? She says she wants to meet you near in the Vic. Well, when? Well, tonight, as soon as she's back. Well, I thought she wanted to rest up. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. But she said, oh, forget all that. She wants to see all her favourites. That means you and all. She actually said, make sure Alfie's there. Are you sure, Ma? Yes, of course I am. So, um, Dad was wondering, you know, if we could organise some signage, you know, make it a sort of party sort of thing. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I can do all that. Yeah, absolutely. I'll get it all sorted. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get the food, the lot of it, all right? Yeah, don't worry. Oh, oh and Alfie. What? How's Nana this morning? Oh, no, 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 she's great. She's bright as a button. Mm. Oh, damn, I'll get that band that Kat really likes. She, you know, she's great bands to play all her favourites, right? Oh, yeah, that sounds hey, good. It's a great party, one she won't forget. You know what, Mo? You know, after tonight, well, she's never going to doubt me again. Mm. Oh, it's of course right. Right, right. Mm. <laughs> Don't suppose you've heard anything back from Martin? Well, I can't sit by the phone all day, can I? And then jump every time someone phones up to try and sell me double glazing. We've got to get on with our lives, haven't we? I'll drink to that. I know. What we need is a tree. How about lunch? Go to the cafe? No! Somewhere nice, somewhere really special. I'll book it. All right, but we'll go arms. No, no, this is my treat. It's my way of saying thank you for all your help. Nan wants me to go with her. I mean, can't be very pleasant having Farmer Giles looked at, eh? <laughs> We'll be back for Cat though, eh? Yeah, of course I will. We'll all be there, won't we, Azo? Yeah, I'll be there. Can't wait to see her. Oh, yeah, me too. Mm. Yeah. I wonder why she said to meet in the Vic, though. Well, because of Alfie. Oh, like she needs all that room to lay the presents, eh? Oh, she might not have had much time to do that much shopping. Oh, come on. Cat's late, a New Yorker credit card. What else do you think she's been doing, eh? <laughs> Apart from that. Mm. I still think she might have got it together with Alfie, though, eh? Yeah, well, well he had his chance, didn't he? I mean, he's a sweet guy, but... And he's shown he's really interested in her. And he's going to treat her like the true princess she is. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> right, see you tonight, yeah, babe? See ya. What's up? Ronnie will be gutted if I don't turn up to his gig. But Kat's coming back, and if I don't see her, then it'll hit the roof. Bye, oh, that's great. I know, I don't know what about the music. He, he said to know anyone was about. He's not normally like that. Okay, fine. Bye. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey. So how are you both settling in back at home then? Oh, it's lovely. There's nothing like living with your family, eh? Yeah, you should come over. You know, when we're a bit more organised. Maybe next week. Oh, thanks. That's really sweet. I'll have to see. Oh, you should. Take your mind off your place for a bit. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only person on the planet. Apart from him upstairs, eh? <laughs> I don't know what planet he's on. Oh, you must get out. You know, see your mates. Yeah, you're right. It'll do you good. I'll see you later. Take care. Oh, no, I'm sorry it's such short notice, but this is a once in a lifetime. It's like a big night for us. Yeah, thank you. Here, Spencer, I might do a traditional East End noise. Cat loves all that. Mm. Right. Oh, thank you so much. Can, can you get back to me as soon as possible? Thank you. But, hey, I've ordered some extra bubbly. I might even get a banner outside the Vic. Welcome home. <laughs> Alfie, I think she'll get the message anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She will. She will. Pete, it's Alfie. Yeah, well, fine, thanks. But Pete, listen, have you still got your band? First in, isn't it, eh? Not much space. So where's she going to put you in a box for the night? Oh, I don't know. One of them pull-out sofa things, I suppose. I mean, she's got a brochure. Got all sorts in it. It's on the wall, mate. What is? The writing. Look, I know you and I haven't got a lot to say to each other. Oh, I wouldn't put it on that. We haven't got anything to say to each other. Can I listen to this one, mate? Help yourself, mate. You've won. All right? And I'm leaving. There's just one thing I want to ask of you. If people come to look at the flat, just keep the noise down, just for a few minutes. All right? And they'll buy your flat? And you'll be rid of me. That sounds like a good offer. Please. Took some nerve asking that, didn't it? Yeah, all right. Anything for some peace and quiet? I'm sorry, babe. 
You'll be all right. You've done loads of gigs before. Yeah, but this is the important one. You know, this could be my big break. What with the promoter and all that. Well, he ain't coming to see me, is he? Yeah, I know, but I just want you there for a bit of support. I don't know, when you're listening, well, it kind of just happens for me. Look, I'll have a word with Dad. I can't promise nothing, but it might be okay. Look, babe, I really do think this is a big one for me. See ya. You're a really good mate, you are. Thanks for leaving me the other night with those two birds. What would you rather I did? Walk off with them? You don't get it, do you? We're a team, a double act. Who's Bonnie? Right, no one. Who's Clyde? Oh, yeah, all right. What, what, what are you trying to say, Tony? It's not just that they want you or me, it's the both of us. But I've got Zoe. Yeah, and who helped you get there? All I'm asking is for a little something back. What, like cheating on her? You're going to be a megastar, right? People are going to look up to you. You set the pace, do you know what I'm saying? You've got to do the business. And cheating is part of it. Look, T, I really appreciate what you did for me, right? But I'm sorry. I just don't see it that way. Ah. Oh. You think sprung. Oh, I've always liked a little bit of bounce. <laughs> and I've heard a decent mattress reduces the snoring, so at least you'll all get a decent night. Oh, you alarm. Sometimes I think he ought to have been an opera singer. Raises the roof, he does. When he <laughs> breathes in, it sounds like one of them electric sanders. And when he breathes out, it sounds like... A chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear? Oh, nothing, sugar plum. Just pass and through. <laughs> You know, Patrick talks in his sleep. Does he? <laughs> What's he say? He says, Yolandi. <laughs> oh. Bob, you want it down, off, country and western? What are you after? They're going to be here soon. Now that is a despicable slander on my good name. I did not empty the waste bin through his window much as I might have wanted to. You got cane for it. Yes, an injustice from which I am still scarred. <laughs> I was only the lookout. <laughs> hey, what about you? Hmm? And the infamous episode of the snail in the lemonade. I'm saying nothing. Mm -hmm. All our past, eh? Just seems like yesterday. Well, some of it does. Mm. We ought to go through them old photos again, eh? You know, the ones in that box of yours? Yeah, yeah. Why not? All our old friends. Do you ever keep in touch with any of them? Only you. That was by chance. Mm. Pantomime. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wonder what they'd say if they knew Pauline and Derek living together. Honourably. <laughs> Derek. The one that everyone fancied. Hmm? Never married, never had any children. Such a shame. Yeah, well, the shame is that everyone I fancied wasn't like everybody's his children. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you who had the hops for you. Sally, red-haired Sally, remember? What? Well, now, that, that is scary, that. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd have made a good husband. Uh, are we ready? Yep. Yeah, bye. Hi. I bet you can't wait, eh? Sorry? Oh, for cats come home. A nice get together, all of you lot. Well, except Zoe, of course. What? Where's Ronnie's gig tonight? It's kind of important to him. He said we'd support him. Me and Zoe are going to be there for him. Is that what Zoe said? Yeah, it matters to her, doesn't it? And uh, what about Kat? She doesn't seem too fussed to me. See you later, mate. Yeah, cheers, Lenny. I'll, uh... I'll see you later, mate. Bye. So, who's Lenny? Just curious. Business or social? A bit of both. He was the school conquer champion. I was always jealous of him. Mind you, I didn't think he cheated. Right. And what school was this? School of Hard Knocks. 
Lenny's a chance, but he's not dangerous. Not to me, not to anyone. And what about Phil Mitchell? I mean, buying his house, you're not just moving in, you're muscling in. You're trying to send him some kind of message. Well, if that's how he wants to take it, that's his problem. Look, it's a good house, it's on the square, and that's where we belong. I'm not here to wind anybody up. She's coming home and she wants you to be there, Zoe. Well, so does Ronnie. I don't care about Ronnie. Actually, if Ronnie cares about you, he'd understand. It's your family and you're going to be there, OK? <laughs> I don't know where I could do about it, you know. Maybe buy her some earplugs. Are you sure that's what they were talking about, though? Like my snoring. The grisly detail. I'm going to be out of that room on my own before I've got a chance to sort out this sock drawer. Mm -hmm. You know, brother, there's more to life than what you get up to with a woman. Well, I don't know what it is right now, but when I do, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> That's too bad. What does Ronnie say about it? I ain't told him yet. Well, I'm going to be seeing him later. I'll oh, break the news, yeah? It's OK. I'll call him myself. Uh, my mobile's bus, he let me his. Well, so I'll call him at home. He's in Camden getting some vinyl. Listen, I'll tell him to call you, OK? OK. Thanks. Hey, what do you reckon? Hmm. You're giving out sunglasses? Up. No, seriously, I think it's a bit plain. Uh, that one's nice. Look. That's all right. What? That way. Hey, Spence, give her the floor downstairs at once over, will you? No, Mo's done it. I'll give her the twice over. Mm. This is a caterer's phone. Somebody phoned. I said I didn't know anything about a party. Well, what did he say? I'm not sure, really. Something about wasting his time. <laughs> Something's happened to me legs. It got no wobbly. Perhaps I should take a look at them. Oh, you'll be lucky. When we get back, we've definitely got to get them old pictures out, you know? Little walk down memory lane. Yeah, well, I don't think we're that interesting, you know, me in shorts. Oh, can't wait. Well, and then, one of my actually topless. Oh, that's it then. Definitely can't wait. Come on. Yeah, all right, mate. Point taken. All right, thanks. All right, bye-bye. I'm sorry, Alfie. Nobody told me about a party. Mm. Oh, Christ. Oh. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on. Do you oh. know, this floor suddenly moved. Hey, Nan, Nan, come on, Don. You yeah. Come and sit down. Do you think cattle mind? Oh, listen, don't worry about that. That's my fault, you I should have told you all about it. Come on. There you go. <laughs> You'll still ask her to marry you, though, won't you? Because we could do with a wedding in the family. We could all get dressed up for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It got a bit lost. There you go. Have a look round. Hello. It's a nice area. Nice and quiet. Too quiet sometimes. Yeah, I, I just thought it'd be a chance, that's all, mate. All right. Thanks a lot, bye. Nah, they can't do it, Spence. Not now. What about someone else? No, I've tried. Ah, but at least we've got the band. Something, innit? Uh, they called Alfie. Um, it was your mate Pete. The lead singer's got a sore throat. So, oh, so now I've got nothing? What, no food and no music? Left to ring Charlie, eh? Oh, that's easy, innit? Job done. Just serve up what's left of Alfie's head after he's chewed it off, eh? Alfie, we did what we could. It's no big deal in the end. Spence, it was, and it is. Listen, bruv, this was supposed to be special. This was showing Kat that I, that I cared for her, you know, what I could do for her. And now what is it I'm saying, eh? Charlie will understand. No, Spencer, that's not the point. This Andy bloke brings her to New York, gives her the Statue of Liberty. I can't even give her a cheese sandwich. I oh, hope that's not true. Oh. You have got it sorted, haven't you, Arthur? Charlie, listen, mate, I have... Seriously, hand on my heart, I'm sorry, there's been a major mix-up, all right? Nothing, not even a sausage. I mean, I could have done something no, if no, you hadn't oh, said. I'll tell you what, I'll do a round on the house, OK? We'll get a champagne flower, we'll pop a few cups. Charlie, I'm really sorry, mate, I promise. Next time we have chili deals, if we have to, I'll catch them myself, all right? Yeah, mate. It'll be OK. Uh, what about nuts and all that? Oh, don't worry about what lots of nuts and crisps and... I'll tell you what, Spence. Go down a minute, Martin, and get what, what they call them, Twitter thing. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, no. I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Alfie, it's not the jelly deal she's come for, is it? Or some booked-in entertainer. Or even your clothes. It's her family. Her friends. It's you. Kat knows the game. She's worked in here. It's how you feel that matters, Alfie. Not, not what you do. That's what you're willing, I suppose. The chat. I mean it, though. 
Oh, thanks, bruv. You're right. She's travelling thousands of miles just to see my happy smile. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Do you want your list? Twiddly things. Yeah, twiddly things. All right. <laughs> Phil Mitchell is more pervasive than a bad smell. And like a bad smell, it's really just a matter of finding out what's gone rotten. No autographs. I haven't said where I want to be signed yet. Are you coming tonight? Of course I am. Bring your friend. Ah, oh, luck's in. Well, yours might be. I'm taking me. Not, not tonight, you're not, no. And not yet, anyway. Zoe said she can't make it, she's busy. What? Charlie said no? No, not exactly, but in the end she thought, you know, it's Cat. She should be there. She, she said she'd call you, she said not to bother her. She's getting ready, family all over. You're free. It's the team. That's probably enough to hang him. Twice over. I knew it was iffy, but this is more than I dreamed of. You want to make a move on him? Then I'm ready. Where go? What's this about your friend Jim out the bedroom? That's what he thinks you're doing. Does he now? Hey, Alfie, Alfie. Jim told me you kept that lorry waiting yesterday. That story my life, keeping people waiting. <laughs> ah, well, you had the course of true love. <laughs> you got a special place in heaven, brother. Well, Paddy, I look so forward to that, but make sure it's on the sweet, won't you? <laughs> I'll tell you, Alfie. Long day on the knees for the whole world to laugh at. I'd do it again, you know. And the rewards. Oh, brother, they come soon. Yeah. <laughs> you got to fight for love. And when you get it, brother, never let go. This is a really nice place. I don't suppose the price is negotiable. It might be. I'm sure we could discuss it. Not that I'm one for haggling. What do you think? It's great. It's just what we're looking for, really. Well, obviously, the colour scheme's mine, but you could do whatever you like. It's good. I wouldn't want to change it. Does this often happen? What? Oh, well, no, not really. I, I mean, you get used to it. I don't mind clubbing, but you don't want this over your head. Well, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's never happened before. I thought you said you get used to it. Look, this is a flat. Well, there's people about. It's not a detached house in Parklands. The agent said it was quiet. Well, it is when he's finished. That's just misleading, isn't it? You're selling this under false pretenses. It's not right. Come on. So what about me? Is this right? Living like this day in, day out? That's your problem. OK, if you're going, just get out of here. Go on, just go. Get out! I found mine. Good. Time to show and tell. I think some of these are going to be a bit embarrassing. Surely not. <laughs> <sighs> what have you found? That was uh, there's me and flares and flowery shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Always the king of style. <laughs> You're an artist, mate. You're allowed. I told you I'm taken, bro. Oh, as in what? She's here. She cares. She bothered to call. I've always said, go to where you wanted. Forget where you're not. That's so what he's here, this promoter. Now play the game, all right? You're the DJ, so go and do what DJs do. Be nice to your fans. You getting a message? Ben, what do you do to chill out after a gig? I go home think about my girlfriend.
land I've ever so glad you decided to stay. I guess I knew what I'd been missing. <laughs> Good night, my dear. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You know, I was looking at that. Uh, Dorothy, I've been thinking that uh, maybe I ought to do something about me snoring, eh? Well, what I was going to say was, I've seen a very nice double bed. I mean, and what with the cold nights drawing in, and, well, we all need a bit of company and maybe a little cuddle now and again. I ain't promising nothing more. Will that be all right? Oh, yes, Dorothy, that'll be very all right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Help! Somebody! Please! Help! Shirley? Help! Shirley! What's happened? Right, hold on, hold on. Uh, gonna have to get someone to look at this, yeah? It's okay. You know, first aid course is coming handy. Right. Come on, let's get you to our E, yeah? That should stop the bleeding for now. Alright. So what do you say? Said you were good. And one day you'll be very good. Maybe. Well, cheers for all the support, Zoe. Cheer up. That bloke don't know nothing. You're great, you are. And everywhere you play, I'm going to be there. Yeah? Well, I guess that makes you my fan club, then, eh? I guess so. Shall we? I mean, what you're doing for the rest of your life. Because, Cat, you make me the happiest man alive, and I want to make you the happiest. Oh, Question at a time, so. It's good to see you. <laughs> All right, Dad. Cat, you look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Nan and Linda running a bit late. Nan went to have a you know what since checked oh. out. <laughs> it's all right, it's just routine, just to make sure everything's okay. But Linda says she hopes she's got a good present. I'll be really busy. Yeah, you don't know. worry, it's having you here that matters. Well, no, I can't wait to come over and see you lot. Yeah, of course, it don't matter. Look, they're at home, we'll go and get them later. Oh, oh. Yeah. Missed someone? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. Listen, Cat, I wanted to make a bit special for yeah, you. It's special being here, Alfie. All right. Well, you know, I really miss you, didn't you? I missed you and all. <laughs> right, Cat. Um, but there's something. There's something I want to ask you. What? Hey, how is everyone? Hey, hey. hey. Andy, come on. I can't wait to tell him. Go on in. Right. I've got something to show you. <laughs> I love you, babes. I love you, darling. <laughs> Friday Night Comedy kicks off next on BBC One with a new series of All About Me. Bad news for Batsy. Safi is coming home today. <gasps> Oh! They're back. Absolutely fabulous. After All About Me on BBC One. Seven celebrities and their seven best friends in a challenge where control, loyalty and obedience are key to success. Can you really teach old dogs new tricks? <laughs> Who let the dogs out?
With the help of a personal dog trainer, can the stars transform their wayward mutts into performing pooches in time for the grand doggy final? All for children in need. Harvey, stay. Harvey, I don't want to sit. Buddy! This ain't just a walk in the park. Celebrity Dog School starts tomorrow at 7 on BBC One.